New statistics released this morning show that Nairobi was worst hit by crime in the past year, having recorded 6,732 incidents, where Isiolo County recorded the lowest at 210 cases of crime. There were 69,736 crime incidents recorded in the year under review, representing a decrease of 2,456 as compared to cases recorded in 2013. In that region, we need more than police action. And Acting police Inspector police General of Police Samuel Arachi, who released the figures this morning, says 3% drop in crime was recorded countrywide. Corruption being a major hurdle in the war against insecurity, Arachi warned that tough measures will be adopted against officers caught engaging in corrupt activities. Any police officer caught in corruption issues first will be sacked. Then you face the law. You will not go to, police of, to, to, to court as a police officer. And this is something that we need to agree. Be it 10 shillings, 20 shillings, first we'll exit you from service, then we'll take you to court as a civilian. In Nyanza region, cases of crime increased by 22% as compared to the eastern part of the country, where cases of crime decreased by 32%. Principal Secretary Interior Ministry Monica Juma has, however, assured of the government commitment to improve the security sector mobility and legislative policies. The entire of the world is raising its bar in terms of the threat that is upon us. And we are located in a way, in a place contiguous to a real threat. It is a real and present threat. So these are not exaggerations, and I think it is important for Kenyans to know this. We shall be engaging with Kenyans. We have engaged with Kenyans even as we reviewed those laws, and we hope that we can find a meeting point that will enable the security forces in general, not just the police, to secure this country, because that is what is required. That what is what must happen if we are to achieve and protect the democratic gains that we have made as a country.